build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants in 50 states, five foreign countries, with an annual revenue of in the neighborhood of $700 million. In a world where golden arches were more recognizable than some national flags, the unexpected downfall of McDonald's is a story many still grapple with. Once the unstoppable titan of the fast food industry, how did McDonald's stumble so profoundly? Stay tuned as we unveil this global giant's rise, dominance, and shocking descent. Following years of declining sales and traffic, the fast food chain's top executive, Steve Easterbrook, unveiled a huge turnaround effort. In addition, Easterbrook also acknowledged some of the chain's errors that contributed to its current plight. A McDonald's burger wouldn't be the same without those tiny tomato slices that protrude beneath the chicken strips. But for now, McDonald's customers must enjoy burgers and sandwiches without tomatoes. The fast food juggernaut removed tomatoes from its menu due to the fruit's growing price. The national capital's north and east fast food chain locations declared that they would no longer be providing dishes with tomatoes owing to a temporary seasonal issue. In a statement released to the public, a spokeswoman for the fast food chain claimed that seasonal issues would prevent tomatoes from being used in certain menu items. Moreover, she added, as a brand dedicated to the highest standards of food quality and safety, we use ingredients only after thorough food quality and safety checks. However, despite our best efforts and seasonal difficulties, we're unable to find tomatoes that meet our exacting, high-caliber quality standards. On the micro-blogging website Twitter, a user posted another apology from the fast food chain. He added, despite our best efforts, we're unable to obtain sufficient quantities of tomatoes that pass our world-class, rigorous quality checks. We must therefore sell you items without tomatoes for the time being. The statement did not amuse the majority of online users. Despite the scarcity of tomatoes, numerous people disclosed how many restaurants gave them cuisine with fruit or vegetables. While the food industry has not linked tomatoes' temporary scarcity to increased prices, the popular fruit and vegetable price has risen due to the recent heavy rains. One kilogram of tomatoes can cost 130 to 150 rupees in large cities like Delhi, Mumbai, and Kolkata. So, what do you think? Is this one of the reasons it might reduce the customer attraction to McDonald's? Share your thoughts in the comments. But apart from this, many more major reasons led to the decline of the fast food chain. Stay tuned to find out. Easterbrook said on a teleconference with analysts that McDonald's needs to adjust some of its staple menu items to meet customer demand for great tasting and high quality food. The business just stepped in that direction by promising to stop using antibiotics and obscure additives in their poultry. Moreover, McDonald's has been reluctant to adapt to its customers' shifting preferences and demands. Easterbrook says they desire a more modern dining experience than what McDonald's now provides. According to them, the business needs to be faster with innovation and smarter with taking risks. Moreover, it added that the world has moved faster outside the business in the last five years than inside, and hence the business cannot ignore what the customers are saying when the message is clear. We're not on our game. To simplify the process, the corporation intends to eliminate unnecessary levels of management. Easterbrook said that McDonald's current organization is ineffective and lacks clear accountability, and should carry out fewer tasks better. In recent years, McDonald's has encountered several more typical marketing issues. Most of these issues have been caused by brand new products that have disappointed customers. McLean Deluxe, a product designed to appeal to health-conscious customers, and McSoup are two apparent examples. But McDonald's most embarrassing failure was the Arch Deluxe Burger, and McDonald's had a brand failure with the Arch Deluxe. The goal was to have a beef patty burger that wasn't connected with kids and was marketed as a burger with the grown-up taste. The Arch Deluxe marketing campaign drove home the point by featuring numerous photos of children avoiding the ostensibly sophisticated product. So, is that a mistake made by the food chain? McDonald's Arch Premium Burger failed because people visit McDonald's for convenience rather than elegance. Making the Arch Premium Burger requires the use of brand new sauces, buns, and fresh lettuce. Moreover, the franchise partners could not use the Arch Deluxe since they did not have sufficient return on investment. Hence, knowing what to anticipate in advance contributes to this convenience. McDonald's restaurants may serve lamb burgers in India and gazpacho in Spain, but they are the same everywhere. Additionally, most customers who enter a McDonald's restaurant are prepared to place their order before getting to the counter. They don't want to be inundated with a million and one different options for a hamburger, which is effectively the same thing. Another issue with the Arch Deluxe is that it was promoted as having good taste. Even though everyone knows that McDonald's would never receive a Michelin star, they continued to visit. McDonald's Missing the Mark was the title of an article published in Brand Week on 12. Did you know that several countries have banned McDonald's? Does this include your country? 
What is the reason you cannot see the fast food outlets in your country? Let's see. You can seldom be more than 100 miles from a McDonald's in the United States. Because of this, it might surprise you that some nations don't even have one. But it's true that various factors, including political unrest and economic failure, have led to these countries' exclusion from the Golden Arches. Iran is an example. Western franchises like McDonald's have suffered collateral harm due to the hostile recent relations between the Middle Eastern nation and the United States. Since 1979, Iran hasn't had a set of golden arches. That hasn't stopped some from speculating that the chain might one day return though. McDonald's, Iran's version of McDonald's has further complicated things. You won't believe what these well-known goods are referred to overseas. It should come as no surprise that North Korea strongly dislikes American companies, and McDonald's is no exception. However, the Telegraph claims that certain high-ranking North Korean officials have had McGoodies smuggled into the nation from South Korea for their use. Iceland, like Zimbabwe, experienced a severe economic downturn that destroyed McDonald's hopes in this island nation. In contrast to Zimbabwe, Iceland had a McDonald's in its capital city before the 2009 financial crisis. However, there are rumors that the Icelandic government wasn't all that pleased to have Happy Meals in the first place, because Iceland is a very health-conscious country. Despite all that, there is a potential that Iceland will soon drop off this list. According to Iceland Mag, McDonald's reportedly has development plans in place there. So, what does this mean for the future of McDonald's? Will they be able to come back? The food chain uses certain strategies to rise. Let's see. To make life easier for customers on the go, McDonald's is installing a drive through lane with a food conveyor belt, a pickup area for delivery personnel, and a shelf where consumers can pick up their purchases. Moreover, the burger chain revealed that the features are being tested in a restaurant near Fort Worth, Texas. Fast food establishments must provide prompt service since dissatisfied customers may stop patronizing them. Moving consumers through the drive through fast is crucial because if they notice a long queue of automobiles, they might choose to patronize a rival. According to this year's drive through report by QSR and InTouch Insight, drive through durations at industry-leading chains have decreased by 45 seconds on average in 2022 compared to 2019. The proto the prototype restaurant is smaller than usual places and was built with takeout consumers in mind. Moreover, along with the pickup shelves and delivery rooms, there are kiosks inside for placing orders to be delivered later. Additionally, customers will see designated curbside pickup and delivery driver parking spaces outside. Customers who order via the McDonald's mobile app before arriving can use the order ahead lane. When they arrive, they can proceed to the designated lane where a representative from a pickup station will verify the order. Customers then select their orders from a conveyor belt of food and beverages. As we've delved deep into the intricacies of McDonald's possible demise, it's clear that even titans can falter. If you found this analysis intriguing, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts on McDonald's situation in the comments below. Do you think there's a way back for them, or is this the final chapter in their storied history? And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives and analysis into the world of business and beyond.